and Silver shows you how to make an actual fucking entrance. I've got to give it to you, Silver. That is how you crush someone. You, th that is how you do some fucking crazy shit. Like, the start of this hunt episode, Chitu arrives talking mad shit to Zeno. Zeno is, like, pretty upset right now because he just murdered someone, which was Kamugi, and he's thinking, oh, like, Kamugi dead, I just murdered an innocent. That's the first time I've done that, which I'm shocked because you're an assassin. I'm surprised you haven't murdered someone that isn't for, you know, work or stuff, and that is just an innocent civilian. And... Pretty much to get himself off the mood, his good old son, Silver, decides to come crashing down and destroy this chimera and cocky head. Which, you know, good shit, good shit. I've got to fucking appreciate when a man teaches his fucking grandfather, you know, don't worry, I'll take care of this little shit by you by crushing his skull. And then also as well, this episode had the Knuckle stuff and shoot, I've got to admit, I do not really like Knuckle and like that much of the character, but this episode really... Get more developed and more fleshed him out, and I really did like this with this episode. When you see like the whole backstory about Knuckle, about him, you know, saying like, "Oh, he's fast and fucking cheater." Like he's also as well beat up some cops when he was like in kindergarten. This guy beat up like what four cops? Like got away from some cars and shit when he was in kindergarten. This guy is pretty fucking strong. I've got to give it to him. Like that he knows how to fucking run and he knows how to beat the shit out of people. And then as well when UP is tired of them when he's saying these guys are nothing but flies but trash and both shoot and knuckle they're thinking like damn do we think about the mission right now or our own selfish desire to go this guy is ignoring us right now are we having this shit and shoot is there begging knuckle be give him a punch for me like that shit was emotion that both of them are crying and they do not want to tolerate that and it's like after what shoot has gone through Knuckle will, will give this man his wish, and he's like, I'll give you that wish, and then he goes to, like, go on, bring it, bitch, like that, and then he's like, oh my god, I'm fighting UP right now, what the fuck have I done, as UP decides to go full-on Hulk mode and beat the living shit out of everything he sees, and it seems like he's on some, like, Hulk-level stuff, where, you know, the angrier he gets, the more crazy explosions he gets to do, and then as well, like, you see, like, a half and transformation with UP? I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is like showing his true form of his ant form and his magical beast thing, because he is half magical beast and uh, chimera ant, so he's. it makes me wonder about that, or is that with all the like, chimera ants? Because if, if Poof comes out of that giant cocoon right now, is he start going to look like um, also as well what UP is? And that also questions, okay, can Nephilim do that? Can the king? I'm guessing anyone on Royal Guard or higher can do this because let's say it's facts like we seen all the other command ants had they pulled this stuff right now it's only so far up and the pulse as well seems to be going on some transformations so it makes me wonder what nephilim beta and also as well the king are going to do but overall i really enjoyed this episode gave me like more reasons to like knuckle that's good he has some epic moments i want to see him go in on up now but overall, I'll give this episode a 9 out of 10. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below of this episode of Hunter. That's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching it always. And remember, I'll see you guys next time.